What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Satama and what is going to happen within the next seven days, uh, especially with State of Mass release and after the State of Mass release. What's going to come guys? What kind of percentages pumped are we going to see? What's actually going to happen? Uh, in this video, we're going to share with you everything that I personally think is going to happen. So make sure you watch to the very, very end of this video. I'm going to show you all my thoughts and opinions, guys, and tell you what I think is going to personally happen. As always, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but uh, it's pretty for entertainment purposes. But I'm going to tell you guys what everyone in the community is saying, what things are looking like is going to happen, and what we can see here onwards with Satama, guys. Okay, so first things first, in the last 48 hours, we've seen a 60% increase with Satama, you guys, which has been insane. Insane. You can see here the uh, the volume is at air 63 million guys. Yesterday this is actually at 100 million. So we've kind of averaged between 60 and 100 million volume. Uh, and I think this is going to pump again this morning and in the next few days it's going to continue to pump. Uh, you can see right the market cap is 3.5 billion dollars guys. Okay, But again what is going to happen? Well first things first we know that Sena Mass is going to be released obviously within the time on Saturday. So some from Saturday we're going to see Sailor Mass released, guys, okay? And once Sailor Mass is released, a lot of people are wondering what we get, what's going to happen next. What's going to happen after Sailor Mass is released? You know, are we going to see uh, massive pumps? And if we do see massive pumps, how big are they going to be? And where is the time we're really going to be? Well, take a look at this, guys. This is where we currently are right now, okay? For us to get back to our all-time high, okay, of, of uh, dropping off of zero and getting to 1.1, 1 .1, guys, okay? Because uh, currently right here, now we are currently at... Uh, eight, so dropping off a zero and getting to point one, uh, we would not need roughly from where we currently are right now, only a uh, you know ninety to hundred percent increase, which is I say only, which is still a lot of an increase, right? It's still a big increase to obviously acquire, um, but is it? Is that a big increase to inquire with what's about to happen? I, I don't personally think it is. Uh, again, we've managed to reach this point here uh, before, guys. As you can see, we managed to reach this point here. Without anything even happen, this is just purely of speculation and hype and all that type of stuff. So to say we're going to get back to there, uh, you know, get that hundred percent increase here, uh, is that unrealistic? Uh, well, I don't really think that's unrealistic, considering obviously you know where we was once there was purely of speculation and hype and everything around that. Well, obviously now, guys, we got a real sort of foundation, and people are starting to realise here what's to come, right? And so even here it says, Satama may attain a price boost with the launch of Seda Mask. And this article goes on to basically say uh, as to why Satama, once Seda Mask is released, is going to have a huge, huge uh, uh, potential price boost. And again, the reasons why this article says, you can read here, uh, is pretty much investors, right? Investors are going to jump in on this and, uh, and, and take this out. So first thing it says, you can see here, uh, the first wave of tokens after Saturday in the same mask are Kishimoto, a powerful token, Luffy, Deku, and Shinja, uh, Wayfair, and Lily Finance, as well as Impact XP. These are the first uh, kind of tokens being released, which you're going to be able to obviously purchase within. Uh, again, guys, the reason why Sailor Mask is going to be so powerful is Sailor Mask intends to revolutionize the crypto space by allowing users to purchase crypto assets with Apple Pay. Yes, you heard it here, Apple Pay, guys. So this is why... Uh, this is going to be big, guys, because they're going to have people, they're changing the game, okay? You know, a a every now and then within any kind of space, whether that's, you know, engineering or maths or whatever, something comes along, you know, like Tesla as well. Someone comes along and says, this is not right. This is how it should be. Let me fix that for a much better price. And this is what Satan Mass are doing. They're saying, hang on a minute, gas fees are crap. We don't like them. We don't like how people have to purchase them. We're going to come in with Apple Pay because everyone uses Apple Pay and lower the gas fees. And you're going to be able to purchase all of the best cryptocurrencies uh, uh, with the hacker resistance right here in one finger. And that is exactly what Satama and Sailor Mask are going to do. And this is why, uh, again, this is going to be so powerful, guys. I really do think. And again, within the next 7 to 14 days after Sailor Mask being released, uh, again, I think we're going to see investors coming in, guys. I think we're going to see a bunch of investors coming up from now until City Mass release, and after City Mass officially gets released, I think we're also going to see uh, a bunch of investors too, guys. You can see here, uh, Rust is the COO of Satama has retweeted a bunch about Binance, saying, "When's Binance coming sooner than you think?" You know, he's officially retweeted that tweet onto his uh, Twitter, which he only makes announcements on. That just makes you wonder why would somebody do that if they had no intention of Binance actually coming? Well, clearly, there's some sort of. Uh, connection there guys right again it's just my speculation opinion but i you know i, I don't think he would retweet that if there was no 
uh, plan of Binance coming. So again, investors here and whales jumping in. Uh, and like I said, I think, in my opinion, I think after Sata Mass is released, I think there's some sort of agreements potentially with some exchanges we could see, uh, you know, to show that uh, Binance could potentially get involved. And once Binance get involved, uh, I think all the other exchanges will too. I think we're going to see then, obviously, Coinbase, KuCoin, Crypto.com, but basically all these ones, right? And as you guys see in my last video, I mentioned this, uh, but quickly brief, brief over it again. You can see how Shiba Inu and Dogecoin got all those listings and uh, had to have a pump. But Satama is pumping without anything, literally nothing. We have no those listings whatsoever. Not one of them. Uh, I think there's a bit of speculation with KuCoin there. Uh, but uh, as for the other ones, none. Not one of them have listed uh, Satama. So, again, interesting stuff there, guys. And, again, if they list, uh, obviously, one of them listed, it's going to obviously be like a spiral effect for the others. So, again, Satama being released on Saturday. Salem has been released on Saturday. And uh, the price currently right now, guys, is 8 Oh nine six. I think we're going to drop off a zero before uh, Sailor Mask gets released, purely because, obviously, the speculation around it and everything that's happening. So that's going to be very fun information there, guys. And again, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is purely for entertainment purposes. You know, I'm just telling you guys what I think is going to happen. And what I think is going to happen is going to, again, blow everything out of the water after Saturday. I think the price is going to go wild. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to FOMO. Uh, people are FOMOing right now before, obviously, as you can see, that 50 60% increase. Uh, just imagine what's going to happen after when we know that exchange is going wild. And again, if it gets on Binance, and many more other users will be able to purchase through Binance. And uh, potentially Robinhood as well, guys, which we mentioned in the last video too. So, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, I'm not a financial advisor, purely for entertainment purposes. And guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye. Thank you for watching.